Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to do another 20 minute video. And if you are unaware of what is going on, this is going to be the second official um, 20 minute video and I will talk while I'm doing stuff. So this is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to see how many of these beautiful, lovely little blingy things we can make. I'm going to go ahead and scooch these out of the way because we've already, or I have already made these. And I was actually on the phone with a friend of mine and sat there and made a huge pile of these, which is why I think that they would be a great 20 minute project. So what do I do with these? You might ask. Um, first, I'm going to grab my bag full of, this is just one of many uh, this one happens to be not, oops, um, this one's not organized or labeled or anything like that. So I figured we'd start here instead of digging into the blingy blings that are all organized. Let's grab the ones that aren't organized and we're just going to miss every one of those. Um, I'm just going to grab my art and glitter glue here because they work the art glitter glue I found works the best for some of the materials that I'm not sure what it is. Um, whether it's plastic, whether it's um, um, metal that's, you know, a little bit different. Anyway, what do I do with these, you might ask? Well, I do all kinds of things with them. I add them to, that is really pretty. I like that a lot. Look at that button. It's like a cream colored and got the white circle. Anyway, um, I add them to embellishments uh, to make the embellishments more grand, if you will. I add them to my doily flowers to give them a centerpiece. I um, Sometimes I just take the whole kit and caboodle and put them in my in with one of my business cards and some extra goodies and that is my my little thank you goodie bag um, and that's actually what I did with the bulk of what I made the other day from being on the phone um, so we're just gonna sit here and try to make as much of these as we can and these are super teeny tiny doilies you can use big doilies, you can use little doilies, you can use pieces of paper. This just happens to be what is on my desk. So I was on the phone with a, another friend of mine <laughs> this evening. I'm on the phone a lot because, you know, I can't go out or anything. But, um, so I was on the phone earlier and, um, what was I talking about? Oh, I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. So in order to make these videos, uh, instead of pulling out a whole bunch of stuff, I literally just look at and see what is on my desk, around my desk, or near my desk, and go from there. So these little, this little Ziploc bag full of all of this stuff has been sitting on my desk for the longest time, and I had no idea what to do with it. So I figured, why not just make my little, uh, my little doily centerpieces here. And maybe I should zoom you guys in just a smidge. Let me pull up my camera real quick. That's going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Um, we're going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. That's the wrong direction. Let's go back. Okay. And there we go. All right, so maybe you guys can see a little bit of what I'm doing now. And you can even use the big giant pieces like this. Um, you could sew them in. like there, And there's always something that you can do with them. Like, you could always do something with them. I'm actually going to see if I can't glue this one straight down and leave the hole a little, um, like, open. So I'm going to try to line up the hole with the hole of the bead. There we go. Let's 
kind of push that down, push that all around, kind of hopefully. Get that to go down there. I'm getting glue and doily fuzz all over me. But that's okay. But by doing this, we have just enhanced this bead because this the hole is still functional. So you can still use this as a bead, which I very well might do because I have got some more projects coming up. Surprise! Um, because obviously the holidays are among us and Thanksgiving is very soon. Um, and oh my gosh, it's in two days. Whew, Nelly Furtado. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna let that sit so it can draw, but we have a little bead with a cap, which I think is super cute because you can lay it this way or you could lay it this way and give it some dimension. But either way, that little hole right there is still functional. So we're going to set that aside. Point is, is you can use anything. Big things, little things, shiny things, not shiny things, stickers. I mean, this just happens to be what was on my desk, so I grabbed it. And I've almost always, not always, but almost always have doilies and lace on my desk. I know, it's shocking. Come on, you want to grab it. All right, we're just going to let you sit for a minute because you're not cooperating. It's like sticking to my finger instead of the doily. There we go. Flip you upside down. That glow into the paper, flip you upside down. Boop. And these I actually got from um, E over in uh, Switzerland. Oh, I should have pulled my hair back. I did not pull my hair back. I straightened my hair the other day. Um, I'm not really sure why. I just. I haven't straightened my hair in a while, so I figured why not. But it took me a little over an hour to straighten my hair. My hair has gotten so long, like crazy long. Um, and what's really great about doing these too is you can use them and make multiples of something similar or exactly the same or whatever and use it in like the same project say for instance if you're making um, a journal and you want to add these little flowers but you want the centerpieces to all be the same well there you go another great thing that you can use is um, you know those flat back shiny things that you can get from the from the Dollar Tree um, you can use those here and they would be really great. Right. I'm going to end up with glue all over my fingers because I keep picking it up and pushing it down with my fingers. And look, see, I've got glue all over my fingers already. All right, what time are we? Oh gosh, we're only at nine minutes. Look at that. And we got a bunch done already. It's like, I haven't swapped out Things. Let's swap out things. I've done a lot of these little um, silver guys. Let's open this one up and throw this one on the desk and see what that is. Ooh, there's something. There's a frame or a belt buckle or something. I don't know. All right. And I literally just dumped it out on my desk. No idea what's in here. Ooh, there is a giant flower. Oh, that is really nice. Put lots of glue here 
I'm going to set that down there, lightly pick this up, pick up the whole kit and caboodle, and yep, and we're going to put this whole thing down right on top of this other doily. So this one will be a little bit bigger, it's multi-layered. But that just goes to show you that you really can use anything. This flower is huge, but this would make one heck of a centerpiece on a journal or a book of any kind, a spine even. Like that would be really cool on that spine um, of the book that I just made. Like that, I actually might do that. I think I'm going to save that for that exact thing. Um, oh, that was perfect. All right, so I've got some buttons. Here's a heart. Let's, let's grab the heart. Push that down. I'm going to flip that upside down. Hello. And the reason I'm flipping them upside down is so the glue doesn't stick to what they're on. Because it is a doily. There's holes in it. Um, there's a flower. A yellow uh, resin flower. It's really pretty. And what's really great about these is they are, they're just small centerpieces. So you can keep layering these until your heart's desire. Like I just did with that giant one, but you could keep going. Oh, there's a red one. Oh, and it's got sparkles on it. Sparkles is cool. And see, I'll show you what I mean. And that doesn't really work. I don't like that. So we're going to go with a lighter color. See, I like that. Even this one here. I like that even better. That's what I mean by layering. I'm not going to glue that down yet. Um, here's a purple one. Let's see. Do we have a little one? We do. Maybe if I glue it this way, it will be easier. Okay. And there's, I have no idea what that is. Uh, some more flowers. That one's a flower, but it's an interesting shape. I don't have any super tiny, I had a bunch of super, super tiny ones in the last batch, which were actually really cool. Oh, no, let's not glue my hair. Yeah, like I said, I should have put my hair back, but I forgot. I just wanted to come in here and play. Oh, look at that one. I like that peak, that peach color. See, and we're at 14 minutes. We are doing awesome. And like I said, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be these little blingy things. It just happens to be what was on my desk. I know I keep saying that. I just really don't want people to get caught up in I don't have that or I don't have that or whatever. Use what you have. If you have stickers and a pair of scissors, um, and you have a glue stick, make yourself some circles all over the place, cut them bad boys out, and then start putting stickers on them. 
it will give you the same effect. It doesn't have to be doilies and blingies. Do doilies and blingies just happen to be what's on my desk because I sell them. Okay, I don't sell the blingies, but I sell the doilies. And I sell my flowers, which I use my blingies for. Oh my gosh, my hair. Um, which is why I have so many blingies because I sell my flowers and it only makes sense to have the supplies that you use to create the stuff that you make. Yip, 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 yip. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? But maybe we'll do another one like this, but with stickers and flowers or, um, um, or, or paper flowers. A lot of people have paper flowers. That would be another really great one to do. Because if you do the paper flowers, actually, you know what? Let's do that for next video. I know that I didn't really want to, you know, go searching for things, but I really think it's important for you guys to just think of what do you have? And a lot of people have paper flowers. Um, they're easy to make. You, um, you can find them all over the place on Etsy. Um, you can get them fairly inexpensive from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Like they're very easy to obtain, whether it's you making them or purchasing them. So I think that's what we'll do in the next video is uh, the paper flowers. You could also use buttons. There's not a whole lot of buttons in here, but um, the last batch that I did, I did a lot of buttons and I know a lot of people have a lot of buttons. Like here's some wooden buttons here. Let's do a couple wooden buttons and bracelets. It's funny. So after losing weight, my bracelet started like getting to where it's like moved all around and it's an oval bracelet. So when it goes sideways, it feels really weird, but it's like, get back, be normal. <laughs> but I guess I can't complain. I'd rather have a bracelet be uncomfortable than my whole body is uncomfortable because I'm way too big. And I was, I was way too big, but I am getting better. Oh, I have news for you guys. Uh, I will have to tell you in the next video because it's at 18 minutes. We have two minutes left. Um, so uh, I'm going to do the last few of these little wooden buttons. We might be able to get a little bit more in. Um, actually, I can go ahead and tell you. Um, I have decided to quit smoking. Uh, those of you who have been with me for a while know that I'm a smoker, a longtime smoker. I've smoked since I was 14 years old but I have decided to quit smoking and oh, wish me luck because Wayne's decided to quit at the same time. <laughs> Show should be interesting in our household for sure. Um, but I figure I'm making myself healthier with my food and I should continue the process, you know, like keep going. Don't just stop at food. So I'm not. I was trying to find one that would fit. All right. So we're at 19 minutes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one up real quick. And then I'm, oh, I missed one. Um, let's do you. All right. That's it. All right. So I don't know if you guys saw the pile before we started, but this is it after we finished. And I am going to go ahead and cut short here because I want you guys to see everything that we just did. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to just kind of push these out of the way for now because that's going to take some time to put away. So first of all, there's this one here that we're going to put on the spine of my journal that I made the other day, yesterday. 
and then we've got all of these guys here. Okay, I'm just going to start flipping them over and going through them so you guys can see them. Let's scooch up, scooch up, scooch up. Let's pen my glue before it yells at me. All right. And all of the silvers, remember all the silvers that we started with? Yep. The heart, flowers, giant bead. Like, this is pretty awesome. All these little wooden buttons. You don't have to use wooden buttons. You can use plastic buttons. The first batch that I did, um, I did with plastic buttons. And it was just a big, giant multi-pack that I had bought many years ago. And just still have a ton of those buttons left. Even after using a bunch, I still have a bunch left. Like, it's crazy. I'm trying to get these to where you can still see them. There's a lot of the flowers. Oh, I didn't flip this one over. Crud. That's all right. Okay. And... Oh, my gosh. Okay. I think that's it. So that's what we did in 20 minutes. <clears throat> I would say that is pretty stinking impressive, wouldn't you? So what can you do in 20 minutes? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to hearing and seeing everything that you guys have made in 20 minutes. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.